Well, ladies and gentlemen, a very good morning and welcome back to the next episode of The Tenant Farmer. My name, as always, is David. I do hope you're doing very well. You joined me this morning as we have just been checking over all of the, the rakes uh, or the blades on the rake here, making sure everything's greased up and looking ready to go because silage season is upon us. The mower is all serviced up. We did that in the end of the last episode there. And now, for well, now, we're going to hook on the baler. So that's going to be equally as exciting. Uh, we are about to go out there in about an hour's time or so, and we're going to start to mow some silage down here on the farm. We are going to do this field here first, see how it looks, see what we can, uh, what the yield's looking like from it there, and then we'll make a decision how many more around the farm we're going to do. Our thought process is that maybe we can get ahead a little bit here, and maybe we can start by getting a few fields cut nice and early, getting some slurry put onto them, and then being able to really crack along and, uh, and hopefully get a good second cut off there as well that or at least that is the plan so we're going to be starting to this morning uh we'll get this cut down all being well it looks like it's gonna be a good drying day actually so we'll leave it uh and we'll be able to make uh make a bit more sense of it there tomorrow so uh hopefully if we can get the contractor around in time there tomorrow afternoon we could be bailing and wrapping our silage up right now though we just need to make sure the bale is all looking good hook it up out of the way run it over and make sure everything's looking uh in good working order and yeah we're uh we're all ready to go so that's gonna be really exciting just shift this fertilizer spinner out of the way first though uh and then we'll be handy uh the little fiat depending upon how big the rows come through there the little fiat will will stick that out ahead and we'll just uh get everything swapped through it two into one as we usually do uh, that baler can can handle probably a little bit more than that but just we like to there's no need to really overwork it there when we're just doing a few smaller fields and we'll see how it goes there but that is uh that's going to be an interesting review really tomorrow to see what it looks like uh now where am i going to stick this out the way uh for now we might just try and squeeze it down this side where we can but that's not going to work uh, so we have to do a little bit more shuffling around somewhere and uh, we'll just take this through past the trailers here and stick it into the shed for now out of the way. You'll see the shed here is still has a few bales of straw in there and a few bales of hay as well, but nothing too, uh, too much. So we'll, what we'll look to do where we can is add in maybe another 25, 30 round bales of hay here and then uh, that will see us through what we'll ideally like to see moving forward there will be plenty more coming through uh for square bales hay for haylage that we get or for um hay for horses sorry equestrian hay there that's going to be the plan the more hay we can make for the equine industry the better that's our that's what our focus is going to be on there and that's how we're going to look to try and strive to increase our diversification and our revenue across the farm the other method that we have of course is the the garden plots over there which are doing pretty well uh, now that it's warming up and it's consistently staying around 12 to 20 degrees there uh, it's you know we're seeing 13 14 15 degrees as a pretty main a steady temperature we're starting to see a really uh, large uptick in the amount of production there which is fantastic and that's exactly what we were hoping for really uh, but we need a little to be able to stagger out our income we don't see too much coming up from there through the the winter months so if we can sell Hey, to the equine industry throughout the winter then you know that's a good way to go that's what we're going to be looking for uh but yeah that's the plan quite how it will work i think remains to be seen and we're going to have to look into it in a bit more detail there but that is certainly what the plan is looking like uh what we'll do right now is just stick this down here because eventually we have to put a bit more diesel in the tractor and we'll just park this up here now i was actually looking to see if i could get myself a bale wrapper uh just something small that we, so we could do all of the work ourselves really so we didn't have to rely on anybody else there and i found one that i went to have a look at unfortunately it was just a bit too small it wouldn't fit the bales that we're looking to to bale so we've uh we're, we'll continue to look uh with bale wrappers i found that if you go too old there they become very rackety and uh are pretty much all worn through so you spend more time repairing and replacing things so decided against that for the now um this baler when we finished last season on the straw there we did uh, blow it down and make sure there was nothing loose in there we don't wash the insides of it because we don't want to uh, leave any water in any of the belts or on the bearings there but it was all blown off there we made a list of anything that needs to be changed it's only about two and a half years old with us though so it's 
it's pretty much uh, in good condition there so we'll uh, we're just gonna fire it up here and see how it sounds don't hear any nasty uh, bearing sounds there. Nope. Everything's looking good. Wonderful. Excellent stuff. So, uh, what we'll do, we're going to just uh, get this all greased up again. Check it over, put some net wrap in there so we're all looking good. And then we're off and out to the races in the new Massey with the Moron. So this is the field we're going to come into, ladies and gentlemen, there. It's looking pretty decent, actually. Not too, too bad. Uh, we don't get too close to this edge. It's a bit wet in that corner there where that French drain is still doing its thing because there is a little spring that still bubbles up over here. But for the most part, the field is looking good. Uh, we're actually going to have one of the drone nerds from the village come over and do a little bit of recording for us there, which is going to be pretty awesome. So we'll be able to stitch some of that in to see what we're looking like as we work away from above. But yeah, you can see there's still a bit of water trickling out this side somewhere. So we'll uh, we'll not get too close to that. The rest of the field, though, is fantastic. It really, really is. So I'm looking forward to getting this going. This is the first time we'll be using the new machine. Uh, once we finish knocking everything down, the mower will come off, the loader will go on there, and it's going to be on carton duties, really. So we'll have to see how it handles all of that. Uh, and yeah, let's get ourselves ready to go, really. I think everything else is all grand. Excellent. All right, let's get ourselves away. Just watch the roof over there, though. All right, we're through. And off we go. Uh, so, yeah, we are going to do... Everything around the farm here is going to be uh, first cut silage at some stage. Then we'll look to get as much slurry out onto it as we can. Give it about five weeks or so, maybe six weeks to grow through and see what it's looking like. If the weather's looking good, I want all of this cut again. We still have a bit of size left over there, so we'll probably all go into hay. And also all of the new ground as well. We'll go into at least one cut of hay. Uh, and we'll see what the rest of it looks like. Maybe we'll have to do a little bit of rat bales over there as well. That we can possibly look into uh, breaking down and bailing into square bale haylage at some point i'm not sure what that's going to look like just yet but we'll we will uh, cross that bridge later on but for now certainly there it goes and we're uh we're looking okay so for the first time what we'll do here is just uh fire this up Add some reps onto it. Listen to that sound. It sounds tight as a drum, doesn't it? It's awesome. Absolutely awesome. All right, then. And then... We're away. Just going to take our time going through these first uh, couple of rounds. Not, like I say, not get too close. We won't do a back swap the other way there because there's a lot of gate gateways here full of stones and that bit's all a bit too rough on the side there so this will be as close as we get to the to the fence there i reckon but it'll do it'll be fine uh tractors are singing along to be honest that sounds absolutely perfect and what i'm finding already actually because that bit's notoriously bumpy along the side that it's uh, very smooth really a lot smoother than it was in the 40 54 70 and i honestly don't think we'd usually go this quickly either he says that as his cruise control stops working there we go must watch out for that sheep drop there as well that could cause some untold damage if i uh go flying into that uh, hopefully we won't uh but yeah otherwise everything else is looking really really good i'm very very pleased with how it's feeling so far and we've got some good speed up here as well really are cruising along won't take too long to do this at all and it looks like a pretty decent spot behind us there as well actually uh, we'll have to see how that continues along there there's a cracking leather jacket and a cowboy hat. Excellent work. Oh, there is a footpath through here. That's where they're all walking to. Then you see some great get up every day. And yeah, what we'll do is because it gets a bit wet in that corner there, we'll just skim it across the front there, miss all of that out. And into the second headland we go. Uh, so we're just going to take our time around these corners here so we don't miss too much. And then, yeah, five times round, 
should be enough for us because we're just bailing it and it's me on the bailer i don't mind five times and then we'll see how we're getting on uh this corner is gonna be a little tighter yeah we're, we're looking we're looking pretty good if it stays at this speed and this thick there uh we'll be able to knock down quite a few of these fields with relative ease actually that should be pretty good to see uh still desperately gotta watch out for that the next headland We'll do two on either side, actually, I think, just to uh, give ourselves some space. Excellent. So I do hope you are all doing very well. If you're cracking on with your own silence there, of course, do let us know how it's going and what your, what your setup is. Uh, this is kind of all that we wanted um i do really want to get my own wrapper from anything because i want to be self-sustainable but also be able to offer out work to, to some other farmers if they need it i think that would be really really good for us just to be able to do that and a few people nearby who would be interested i think but uh you know i don't have the full setup at the moment there so maybe that's something we we look into but uh yeah just gotta find the right option at the right price at the moment i just haven't found that uh but yeah it's uh, it's an ongoing option i do need to try and figure out if my regular contractor is going to be free to come in and do this because i do know that he wasn't ready yet and he's got a few bigger jobs coming up soon i've got another option a little bit further afield but they might be able to get in there and do something as well so i guess we'll have to see uh and see if that's going to work out but i've got a few phone calls to make this afternoon once we know how much we're going to be knocking down here and and what those next steps look like uh, now for this headland, I think I'm just going to swerve to the left. We'll leave all that until the next one. I haven't been sheep in this field in an absolute age. To really get those moved. Yeah, nice smooth ride. It's a little bit of a rough field in this top corner here. And the tractor's is gliding over everything right now. Really, really impressed. Uh, but what we'll do, we're going to keep pushing through here, get this headland done, and then the drone node will apparently arrive so, uh, shortly. Uh, he's going to keep checking by to see if we'll go in there, and it gets some good aerial shots. I think he does aerial photography for a few different people. Uh, and yeah, we'll see what that looks like. So uh, hopefully, we'll get something good coming up. and so the headlands are done we're back in here we're just putting our first cut through the middle i'm quite impressed with how much we have on here actually there it's really uh really quite something uh which is good which means that we can get this off we'll get a fair few bales off here and what we'll the fewer silage bales we'll have to make after this we can put as much into hay as possible uh what we're gonna do now though is just kind of get our first cut in like i say uh and then let's see how it's all coming together uh, i think i was too far off that looks pretty straight for me Not using the gps on here really so we're just uh going off it by eye and well i think it's been all right we'll live with that that's for sure uh and we will crack on this field like i say it's quite dry and good drying weather today uh good breeze nice bit of sunshine out there so we'll leave it on the deck for today not touch it and then we'll rake it up in the morning uh, and probably get after it tomorrow afternoon i think i uh, just gotta make those phone calls to see if we can get a rake man or a rapper man sorry and then we're all fully going silage there so it should be really interesting to see how we get on um stay tuned as we'll show you what that looks like and take you along for the adventure there as we do start to get this all knocked down 
and we'll see what that looks like until next time though thank you very much for watching i do hope you have enjoyed we're starting silage 22 it's underway if you are as well do let us know what you're doing it with and if you're doing it in the pit or into bales and keep us posted with that until next time though i have been david this has been the latest installment of a tenant farmer and we will see you in the next one if you have enjoyed this don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe for more and we'll catch you later